it was kind of like, I mean, basically from the inception of the band, like uh, me and uh, Mike Cosgrove, our drummer for the band, actually had, uh, we were in a local band from our area and kind of wanted to put something new together. So we, we kind of, you know, knew about uh, our old bass player Ty and we knew about Dryden, just we all kind of grew up together. And we, we just kind of slapped it together and decided to jam and ended up liking it better than what we were doing and kind of the rest is kind of just forward from there. I think we joked around about some names, like I think we joked around about like the Masters of the Universe for a second and just stupid stuff, but Alien Ant Farm was kind of like... We were, we were a band without a name for a little while, you know, we were already like, we were not playing any shows, but rehearsing and writing music, so it was kind of just like the last bit that needed to happen, and, uh, and it, there wasn't really too much else thrown in the hat. Well, we're going to finish this tour, I think we got about another two weeks on this tour, and then we go straight over to the UK. Uh, we're going to do a quick, like, kind of three-week run around the country with uh, Head P.E. and a couple other bands. And after that, we get to go home for a while. I might take a small vacation, because I'd need one. Uh, but then it's back home and back to writing. And uh, we're hoping to have a new record out in the first quarter, hopefully. So we got to get home and just keep writing. And I think we have uh, another trip to Europe in like March, but that's a ways out there. We'll have a good like three months of like writing at home. Awesome. And that's pretty much it. Just kind of try and get that record out. It's been a minute since we've had a record out, so we're a little overdue. If I had to pick like, I don't know, I'd want it kind of to be set up like all my friends in a way, you know? So. I mean, on this on this tour, it's been really cool because all the bands are really different, and everybody kind of brings their own shade of rock to the lineup. Um, I don't know, man. I'd I'd have I'd want all my friends to be there because we just have a lot of fun. So I don't know. I'd probably be like Papa Roach, uh, us, Hoobastank, Pod, uh, and uh, Glassjaw. <laughs> You know, I really like that uh, that first Rob Zombie movie, that House of a Thousand Corpses. For some reason, that movie's just really creepy to me, uh, from the characters to the way it's shot. Um, comedies, I don't know, we've been watching a lot of comedies lately, but one that we keep putting on on this trip is definitely Caddyshack. So, Caddyshack is just constantly like referenced like on this tour, so probably Caddyshack, yeah. I don't know if my favorite, I don't know if you consider him a superhero, but like as far as comics are concerned, when I was young I was really into Judge Dredd comics. Um, I don't know, he was kind of super dude. He was, uh, but he was kind of like no, no bullshit kind of dude, and uh, you know, he was just like this like super cop, you know, that was feared, and I, I, was, I got really into Judge Dredd when I was a kid. Uh, Bad Brains Live at CBGB's. <laughs> no, but, um, God, you know, I don't know. There's so many uh, good ones to pick from, again. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to listen to that Ozzy Speak of the Devil record a lot. That was a good live record for me. I don't know why I like that so much. That one, uh, and even on the more kind of diverse side of things, like the flip side of, of that would be, uh, there was a moment when I, when I listened to Babylon by Bus, uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers live. Uh, man, I listened to that a lot. Uh, it's probably one of my... It's some, someone was playing some of that one day not too long ago and I felt like I got that feeling like because uh, it used to remind me of when I'd go to England and stuff like it was just really popular in my playlist back then. Well, we used to do a different we used to do a different cover every time we played when we were like an independent band. Um, that song was just kind of set up for 
guitar, like it kind of was just like a heavy song, you know, already. I think, I think Michael Jackson's version is, to me, is heavier than ours with the synth bass or whatever, and it sounds pretty driving. So it was, <coughs> excuse me, it was just pretty easy to kind of bump over to a rock, straight up rock song. We, uh, we just played, we, we hadn't learned it completely yet. We just played like uh, maybe a couple, like a verse a couple of times at a show and everybody loved it, so we ended up figuring out the whole song and going from there. I like doing this still because it's a good way to kind of put some smiles on some faces, you know, and, you know, even, even like playing, you know, we play, people always ask, like, hey, you guys gonna play Smooth Criminal tonight? And I'm like, and I'm like, well, I don't. I think if we didn't play it, you know, there'd probably be a mob waiting for us, you know, <laughs> in the parking lot. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, a lot that leads to a lot of people saying, like, you know, are you sick of playing that song, etc. And I'm like, no. Uh, every night we start it, like, the, from the first note, all I see is like smiles in the crowd, you know. And uh, you can't really argue with that. That kind of makes it all with it. Um, well, you can find the band uh, pretty much anywhere, any of the any of the formats, whether it's Alien Ant Farm or just Alien Ant Farm Official. Um, uh, myself, it's just Terry M. Corso, pretty much everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, uh, all that. Hey, what's up? This is Terry from Alien Ant Farm. I play guitar. And right now, you're checking me out on acutiepie.com.